All right. Hey everyone, Simon here. So we're making games. I honestly don't know if anyone thinks that this is interesting to watch. Like watching me make or try to try to kind of make a game on and off every now and then. Is it interesting? I don't know if it's interesting or not. But um I'm gonna do it if if it really looks kind of if it really is boring and you don't want to watch this anymore, just kind of leave that in the comments. So just just tell me whether you think this is interesting for you guys to watch? I don't know. Anyway, so 12 months is the project name. So uh, at the end of the last video, I talked about thinking about making a template for this game, which has 12 months in it. And there's a number of, there's going to be like a, a town, and there's going to be kind of locations in the town, and then all that. So I'm going to try and make the template. We'll see how this works out. Uh, view. Assets usually shows everything in icons. I'm just trying to see if we can show things as... I think it's this, actually. Show things as, um, as a list. So, what I think we need is... So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go with what I have in mind. So let's go create a... a I need a scene. I don't got a new scene. New scene? Oh, this is a new scene. Let me go save scene as. So there's going to be a number of scenes. So first of all, we have the... Huh. We need to initialize the game. We need to initialize all the uh, variables. And then we have a prologue. And then we have each month. And each month you have to kind of reinitialize variables for that month. And <laughs> so, so I guess we go... Should I have a scene for initialization? Yeah, okay. Initialization? Do I call it that? No, let's just call this preload. So there's a scene, and then we go new scene. We go save scene as the prologue, and then we go new scene. We go save scene as um, initialize month one or one. Hmm, 12, 13. There's, there's 12 months in the story, but one of, but, but the January, there's two of them, there's two versions of it, so it's kind of 13 months. There's a prologue and there's an epilogue. Initialize month one. Do I need this? Yes, I, yes, I do. So the initialization ones are, are fairly simple. Actually, I should make a folder, shouldn't I? Let me go create a folder and go, this is month one. Like, what if I put this in a folder? Does that... Is that an issue? Like, if I go build settings, and I go assets, and I kind of dump uh, preload, and then prologue, and then... Month, so they put it into a folder like that. Do I need to set the path when I... I think I do. I've said the path when I load scene. Um, this is kind of um, interesting. Maybe if it's going to be like that, I just have month one initialize and not have month one dot unity there. It might get confusing though. No, let, let's leave it like that. And then here we we go new scene. <laughs> And we go safe scene as um, town month one. Is that how I want to? Yeah, all right, town month one. So we got that so far. Preload, what's going to happen here is let me 
Oh, I should have set these cameras first. So cameras, what I want to do is make sure that uh, color mask everything, projection. Hmm. There's some missing things here. Oh, the we need zero zero scale. Uh, size is 360. I think that's the size I want. Um, wherever it is. Alright, let me just put in the canvas. Let me just go. This is actually no, this is a month one. I don't want it like that. Let's go to preload. Main camera. I think size is meant to be 360. The other project has the settings. Correct. And then we go. Uh, UI image and the canvas renderer rectangle transform the canvas is going to be world space so instead of having the UI on the screen space we're going to have it in the world space I'm going to put it in the middle of everything and it's going to be 1280 by 720 uh, there. Why? Okay, that's the image. So the canvas is going to be like that. World space, layer order, I think all of this is correct. Right, and then this is going to be also in the middle. Although, what I think I want to do is make it black. And then game object UI text and this is going to be again in the middle uh, and uh, the color is going to be white so this is the preload so this is the uh, title title screen well it's not really the title screen because there's the menu the main menu and then there's there's this. So when you go start game, then you see this. So uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Um, 48. And let's make this a little bit bigger, like uh, 500 by 100. Title screen animation, probably like 600. All right, cool. So that's what it looks like for now. And in the preload, we need to initialize all the variables. I don't actually know what the variables we need are just yet. Let me go, um, we need a empty thing. Let's give this a scripts. Initialize scripts. And then we uh, create New JavaScript. Initialize game. Let me just attach that to this. And then here, function start. We need to uh, define all the variables. I don't, obviously, we haven't made the game yet, so I don't know what variables we need at the very start. Let me comment out. The, uh, the update function. So function start, we need to static variables. I'm just gonna put it in the, the notes here before we actually write any code. I'm just gonna use the comments to say what I want. So we want uh, define static variables because we need to pass variables between scenes. And because each location is a different scene from the town, so what's going to happen is um, each, oops, each location needs a starting page for each month. Needs a, a variable. It's a variable for the starting page for each month because imagine like you're in the town you visit the school for example the first time you visit the school you start on page one which makes sense 
But let's say you talk to people, you finish talking to people, you go back to town. And then you go from town back to the school again, you don't go back to page one because you don't want to say the same thing the second time you visit. So the first time you visit, they, you go through the main dialogue. The second time you visit, they might just say hi, and then they don't have anything else to say to you because you've already talked to them before. So the second time you go in, it's not page one. It's going to be a different page where they say something else. So they say, oh, hi, it's you again. I don't have anything else to say to you. So it's a different thing. So then you, because that passes between the town and the location, that needs to be a static variable to remember which page you're on in the school conversation, right? So we need, so this is what I'm talking about when I say we need a static variable for the starting page for each month. And then as you, when you go to the school, at the end of the first conversation, it says, all right, next time we come back to the school, you start at page eight, for example. And when you come back, page eight is a different thing from page one. So we need that to be a static variable. Each location needs a static variable, but you only need one you don't need a different one for each month because when you get to the next month, it's going to be a whole different thing and you don't, you can't go back in time. So when you get to the next month, you can just say at the beginning of the month, you initialize that month and you kind of reset all the, uh, all the pages to page one and then you go from there. Does that make sense? It probably doesn't because there's no, I don't have a diagram or anything. So divide city variables. So you need that. And then we also need, uh, uh, there's this kind of there's events that happen. There's not that many, but there are things where you actually there's only like three or four. But there are a few choices you can make that affect uh, how things happen over the months. So um, uh, so we need static variables. For player choices, there's not that many, but there's a few. Uh, what else do we need? Setting variables. What else do we need? I think that's all there is for now. That's all there is for now. Well, I mean, some of the sequences are actually kind of complicated. You have to like go to a location, read a thing, go talk to a person, and then next month you talk to the person again, and they say something else, and then you. And then in another month, you kind of go talk to them and do a different thing and go kind of look at something else and talk to them again. So some of these things actually have, like some of these sequences have kind of multiple gates that you have to kind of pass in order to have a different outcome. So um, so we need variables for that. Um, all right. Is that all we need to do to initialize? Yeah, so this is the initialized initialize game. And that's, it's basically just defining the static variables and defining the initial states for each of those variables. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I guess we want to have like a, a brief animation as well. How do you, all right, let's go help. So uh, we go unity, pause, um, we want, to uh, Unity change scene after time, like this. Change level after 10 seconds. Let's see what, this is how I program. We just kind of copy, copy someone else's things. So function start, yield, wait for seconds, five. Application load level. Okay, good, easy. <laughs> In fact, we can just copy and paste. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of messy. So, why is that a different paragraph? Someone put HTML into a, a text box. All right, so you would wait for seconds. So that, we don't need five seconds. Let's go three, three seconds. Actually, what I want to do here is go variable um, exits to and this is string right and then here I want to go low level exit to let's go just go exit exit to not not exits to that's kind of bad grammar so that low level exit to so we do that 
and building it. Oh crap. Expect oh wait a minute. Okay, semicolon. Semicolon. Do it all. String does not denote a valid type. Why would string not be a valid type? Wait a minute. You can't. Why is string not a valid type? No, I don't mean JetBrains annotation string. Why is string not a valid type? I can't do string. Hold on, because here. Hmm, crap. Initialize scripts. Oh, did I not? Let me just drop that there. Uh. So name string does not denote. Really? Um, what am I doing wrong? Declaring character or string type variables returns errors. All right. Let's see. Private variable mode character string abc. Do you mean? Yeah. Okay. In JavaScript, single and double quotes both make a string, and string is not a system string. As in, she yeah, does not only use a string as a variable name. Is it not? Oh, this does allow you to use a string as a variable. That's not key. Wait, wait, what? Variable string. Wait. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Cap capital S? Oh, capital S. Wow. <laughs> um, wait for seconds. Yield, wait for. Wait a minute. Why is that wrong? Unknown identifier. Yield. Well, the thing about that is it might be um, out of date. This might be uh, the wrong version. Or maybe it's just bad. Yield, wait for s capital S. Like, why? Why does this guy? Okay, I mean, I mean, even copy and pasting is complicated. A capital S. Thank you, thank you, Internet. Good. All right, now we're done. So here, if we go, so exit two. If I say, exit two prologue. Would that actually exit to prologue? I'm going to save that. Save scene. Uh, main camera, so that prologue, we're going to make the same thing again. Size is 360. There we go. Game object UI. Canvas. Canvas. Actually, I should probably. Um, yeah, world space. And it's gonna move that to. See, I should have done this before I. Because now I could have just copy and pasted this stuff between the. Uh, actually, can I just do that? Just copy and paste between the other uh, scenes? I probably can, can't I? So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna create. No, game object UI. Image. Uh. Oops, 720. I'm gonna make it black. And then the prologue is actually gonna be a number of pages of text, right? So let me go image. Um, there's gonna be scripts on the prologue too, okay. Uh, Exit, I need to exit to... No, I can put that on a button, can I? I can put that on a button. Button load, so I need a script for button load scene. Create JavaScript button load scene. Because I need a button to load a scene. 
anyway so image uh, let's go maybe can I, why don't I just copy and paste why don't I, I would can I just go to this is this can I just go text copy and like paste oh I can great <laughs> prologue I should send to this uh, send to this not sure why I'm spending so much time making this look good. Alright, so here, this, thi this, wait for three seconds and then goes to exit to, and exit to is defined as prologue, which is this. So if we go, go to settings, let me just uh, get rid of that for now. If we just build and run this, let's go. Um, let's just go zero zero one. So this should just go start on the first page, wait three seconds, and then go to the the second scene. That's what should happen. You never know. It's taking quite a long time to build additional assets. <laughs> you never know. Also, am I still recording? Okay, I'm still recording. Am I still recording? I'm still recording, good. Alright, so here, let's go 1280 12, 12, by 720, play. Oh, it's full screen, crap. I didn't mean to, um. Alright, three seconds in prologue. Uh, I didn't really mean to full screen that. I don't know if you guys actually saw what happened. I don't know if that actually recorded. It probably didn't. Maybe it did. Uh, let me just try that again. So we're done with test 1 for now. Go to 12 months. Let me just turn... let's go windowed. Alright, so loading screen or Unity loading screen. Title screen animation. And then 3 seconds and then prologue. Good. Good, that, that does exactly what I was hoping it would do. So prologue needs multiple pages of text. Or multiple multiple pages of stuff. So preload canvas initialize scripts. So here we need a uh, empty. We're gonna I don't do that. I'm gonna rename this to UI script so UI you yes, script uh, scripts. Uh, UI scripts. So button load scene. Um, how do how do you do buttons again? Oh, this is this is easy. So we're gonna comment out the functions. We're gonna just go. Uh, we don't need start. We don't need update. What we do need is function change scene brackets curly brackets and then this is just going to be oops why did I do that uh no how did I do that why did I how did I close that what did I actually do to okay there? Application load scene is that capitalized correctly? Load level, my bad. Load level. And I think I'm just gonna go exit two again. And then close curly brackets. So when we activate change scene, we go to the exit two. And we go, and we need this variable exit two as a string, but the capital S, guys. Save. Save all. Just check if there's no errors, alright. UI scripts button low level exit two, alright. So this button load scene exit two, where we don't know 
where to exit to just yet. So we're going to leave that empty. Actually, I do know it's going to be month one. It's going to be initialized month one. I should just copy that in right now. But it's in the folder. So I don't know if I need to go month one. Initialize month one. I don't know if I need to do that. Build settings. I think I do. I'm not sure. Town month one. All right. Let's go back to here. Prologue. So we need a button to take us there. And we also need like uh, pages. So let me go create UI canvas. No, don't put it there, put it somewhere else. So this we go, hmm, what do we call this? Dialogue? Dialogue page one? Dialogue American British. American, British, British. Dialogue page one. And uh, again, we're going to make it world space. And zero and zero, 1280 and 720. So the canvas is going to be the whole page. Uh, for the moment, we're going to go UI image. And we're going to say width is 1280, height is 200, and it's going to be 0, and uh, the height is the 360, so it should be negative, negative 350. Is that right? No, negative 340. That's not right. Negative, wait a minute. 720, 360. Height is 200. Why is this not... It's 3, wait a minute. Seven twenty. half of 720 is 360. Half of height is, oh, it is 100. Wow, okay, wow, wow, I'm so bad. I'm so bad, it should be 260. <laughs> is it 260? 260, yeah, okay, it's 260, wow. <laughs> how do you math? How do you math? I don't know how you math. Um, that doesn't seem big enough, though, does it? So imagine, like, this, this, uh, this, this seems like this not enough. I think it's three, and then we'll make this uh, 210. So we got picture up here, and then this much text. That seems like a lot of text. Like 200 seems not enough, 300 seems like a lot. Is there potentially too much text? How much of the screen should be text? 360. 100 and 130 is a quarter of the screen. A quarter of the screen? Uh, two, two, two fifths? One, one third of the screen? What is 720 divided by 3? Two, two, 240. 240. Um, and then 360 minus 120 is 240? Two, 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 two of course, it's a third. A third of the screen can be text? I guess so. I guess so. All right. Um, color is not entirely white. Let's make this um, half white. Or 99.9. Hundred hundred twenty-eight plus sixty-four is hundred ninety 
say 190, 190, wait a minute, 128 plus 64, 192, is that three quarters white? 100, something like that. I should probably just get a calculator. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't read my emails. Crap, do I need to delete that now? I clicked on the wrong window. Um, two, 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 fifty-six times point seven five. Hundred ninety-two. It is hundred ninety-two. So that hundred ninety-two is three quarters white. And then. We go edit uh, game object UI text text page one. What should I do with this? And uh, what was that? Two forty. Was this two forty? Was hundred twenty? Okay, 240, and then negative 240, text page 1, but I don't want it to be the complete thing. So let's take off 80 pixels there. Maybe that's a bit much. Let's take off 40 pixels there, and take off 40 pixels here. And we'll make this size 24, and we'll make it black. Text page one, right, and then we need two buttons. We go uh, UI button. Um, rename this to um, button next next page. Uh, and the text for that is going to be next page. Oh crap! The text was not here. Here, next page, and this needs to be bigger, really. We'll make this um, 18. Next page. All right. So how do I uh, let's move that? To 560 and negative 350. Is that that's not even correct? How big is this? 160, 30. I just, I just need to draw this, don't I? So this should be 55, I think. 555. Oh, wait a minute, that's not right. Five. Oh, wait, was 60 correct? Kind of. This is uh, 45. Ah, there you go. And then we want to move it in by 20 pixels, right? So we go 60, uh, 40, and then this 25. All right, good. Except that we, I want another button. So let me just uh, duplicate this. This is going to be button. Um, but the next page, button skip. Well, it would be button next scene. And then this one, the text is going to be um, skip dialogue. Skip dialogue. Um, all right, so then. This one needs to go up by like 40 pixels, so this should be um, 500. Actually, no, it should go across by uh, 160 pixels. So we go 380, except we need a bit of a gap, so 360. There you go. Next page, skip dialogue. Next page, skip dialogue. Oh, good, good, nice. So the button next scene. Uh, 
load level exit to exit to oh, I already have that, never mind, let's wow, okay, uh, remove component, we already have that, so skip dialog, this one on click it activates the UI scripts load scene, change scene UI scripts change scene. So this would go to month one, initialize month one. So let me uh let me just save this scene. Go back to assets, go to preload, and uh copy copy those month one and uh paste them here. Except instead of title screen animation, we go March, which is where the, when, when the game starts. No, no, it's April, my bad. The game starts in April. April uh, is when the game starts. All right. And again, we're just going to wait three seconds and go to the next thing, I think. So we go. Initialize game. Ah, so I'm gonna copy. Can I do this and paste? No, I can't. I can't do that. But I can go to here and go assets. Initialize game. Copy and paste. But instead of initialize game, we're gonna go initialize month one. So you go to month one, open this script. Open this script. Initialize month one. Again we have the exit two. But we don't define the static variables. We go divide define variables for months one start which is basically um, start starting pages for all dialogue and that's pretty much it okay so then now we go wait for three seconds and exit to ah this one is we're gonna exit okay we're gonna oops save and cancel I'm gonna save, save all, and save. Already exists, overwrite, yeah, save. Save, and we build that. So this one I'm gonna exit to, but we don't have the. I clicked on it again. Okay, don't read my emails, I'm gonna have to delete those frames out of the video. So, um. No, not that, that one. So, uh, this one we go. Create empty. What do we call it back in preload? We call it initialize scripts. Oh my god, good. So we call this initialize scripts and initialize uh, that. But we don't have an exit to. I don't know if this will crash the game if there's no actual variable for exit to. It might not actually run. So can I build and run? It might not actually work because there's no there's no there's no uh, there's no string defined for that. So you you can you are you guys keeping up with what I'm doing? So I go we start the game, initialize variables for the game. We go to the prologue. The prologue is a dialogue where you, where you kind of read the conversation between some people. And you also kind of see some images. Prologue. So text page one. So if we go skip dialogue. Wait a minute. This should go to... Interesting. 
that should go to initialize month one but it doesn't <laughs> 